video games. They're one of the world's most popular influ and influential sources of entertainment. And whether you like it or not, they have definitely made a large impact on the world and community we live in today. However, many people believe that, ne that video games are negatively affecting our world and communities, and that people should just simply not be playing them. Well, I'm here today to tell you that the actually the opposite is true, that video games can indeed be good for you, for you, your body, and your health. For example, in a study that Science Daily has done, they state that the studies show that playing video games can change how our brains perform and even their structure. Example of these that they provided include the our attention span and how it can be increased by playing games, um, their efficiency, which allows them to search up information much more often, and other various things. For example, video games have been scientifically proven to be able to improve people's reaction time. And no, not just a specific game made to help reaction time. Video games like Call of Duty and stuff have been used to help ha have been proven that they can increase someone's reaction time, which is pretty impressive, considering what the game, it, what you do in the game. And additionally, they can help you with other reactions as well, like driving in real world sports and stuff. And video games can help improve one's ability to read, so it's perfect for people who have dyslexia or other things that may impair their reading abilities. Video games aren't only good for your brain, they're also good for your body's health. Video games have been proven to help relieve stress, but and can also potentially be a good pain reliever, which is mainly because of the point that you can it helps to ease and helps the player to forget about the pain that they're suffering through. In fact, the National Center Center for Biotechnology Information, or NCBI for short, performed a scientific examination and pa they had patients going through various different types of therapeutic treatment like physical th therapy, if, if psychological therapy, etc. And they had them play video games in their therapy as well. And of the 38 studies, 195 of these patients showed an increased tolerance to pain and successfulness in their therapy treatment. And it's even been used for education as well. Some schools have even started using them. So, if, all, if there's all these positive things, why is it so viewed so negatively? The main reason is the news and all the in influence that it had on it. While it's true that the video game, there are video games that are inappropriate or let you commit crimes in the games, they don't all lead to people becoming criminals or just because a game be can become addicting doesn't mean that you will always become addicted from playing the game. It's, I mean, video games aren't bad because they're just inherently bad. It's how they're presented to the player and how they're bad. Video, while video games can't, because yes, while video games can be good, if played for way too long, it can affect your, it can affect your eyesight and other things. So don't, so playing too long is one of the main reasons why people view it as bad. Another thing is that it can be straining for the body if played too long as well. And addiction is at fault, and addiction to video games is also at fault to how they're presented. Most people who become addicted addicted to video games, it's because that video games were used as a babysitter, as in people just, their parents just plop their child in front of the video game and like, have fun, while they did important busy stuff, and that is not what a video game is. It is not a babysitter. Or they had, or some, or in some cases a video game has become addicting because they had to use it as an escape to, from their life that they just didn't want to live, like abusive parents or whatever. So, what does the media have to do with these things I've stated? Well, they what they blow up anything negative related to make to video games, making people think negatively about them. For example, there's this one story of a person who died playing video games for days on end with no breaks, no sleep, unhealthy food, and no movement other than playing the game, and they died to it. And then the video media claims video games are deadly. You shouldn't play them. 
Or another example is a most murderer with a horrible life growing up played Tetris once. Video games are to blame for the murderous impulse. You see what I mean here? The media blows up all negativity that are represented with video games. All for a good story. A quote that I, here's a quote that I'd like to share from extra credits of an informative and a formative YouTube channel that I like to watch that has that uses import that uses real life points to back up their claims and stuff is a lot a lot of way the game a game TV show or any media affects a child is depending on the guidance they're given and the context they watch it in. Over it all, video games have such a potent positive potential to influence the world but are being negatively influenced by the news stories. Video games also have the potential to do so many good things, but people just can't overlook the bad things that are explained on the news. So next time you see a family member or friend playing, don't just think negative about it. Think positively on all the good things that video games can do, but just don't do too much.